finally let's understand the fourth topic that is the goals of marketing the first set of goals could be distinguished under economic activity and the various other under economic activity the first goal being creation of utility there are three kinds of utility which we are talking about over here place utility time utility and possession utility place utility means providing goods at the right place as and when they are required as in for example timber wood is available in forest but their requirement is actually in the city where the construction is happening making sure that the wood and the timber is available in the city at the right place where they are needed is called as time free place utility the second being time utility providing of goods at the right time of usage and consumption is called as creation of time utility for example woolen clothes could be produced throughout the year however their need is only in the winter season making sure it's available at the right time of consumption is called as creation of time utility the third being possession utility transfer of ownership of goods and services from the producer to the own consumer is called as possession utility the second feature being cost reduction well cost reduction obviously is beneficial to both the buyers and the sellers it leads to more of consuming and much higher profits for the buyer and it leads to increased profits in terms for the seller that they get to sell much more products because consumers always prefer products which are priced reasonably and in the right way third being price stabilization while well, price fluctuations are a very risky affair they lead to a lot of confusion and chaos bankers insurance companies nobody is willing to invest if the market is very fluctuating and the price is continuously changing hence price stabilization is one of the important goals of marketing next being maximizing the consumption well the main important goal of marketing is to maximize consumption so that it in turn leads to maximum production maximum employability and maximum profitability the next being maximum consumer satisfaction by this point what we are meaning to say is marketing does not only focus on quantity but it focuses on quality that is we should not only aim at looking and providing a number of goods to the consumer but what we are looking at here is to provide maximum satisfaction to the consumer with the consumption of our goods or services the next being maximum choice that means what we are looking at is the consumer should have a variety of goods and services to choose from as per their taste and preference and should have a maximum choice available to themselves and finally maximum life quality by improving their economic and social needs and providing them with goods as per their requirement the second set of goals are the long term relationship goals the first into that is identifying and extending into the new target markets well the goal of marketing is not only to cater to the current markets but to also identify and in enter into the new markets which are potential and are untapped currently the second one being expanding the marketing channel and equipping the sales team to sell much better in terms that we identify new and new channels of distribution it could be through wholesalers through retailers through brokers commission agents and also providing our sales team with much better facilities so that they are able to sell better and satisfy better third being conducting market research well as already said the very first step of marketing starts with marketing research it all also completely is based on that we collect the information from the market in terms of what the customer wants and build our products on the basis of that also we improve our products continuously on a timely basis on the basis of the information collected from the market the next being integrating marketing activities with those of other department while well, marketing function cannot function in isolation all by itself it has to be in sync with all the other departments that being the production department the quality department the banking department the hr department and all the others so that being one of the goals of marketing to integrate itself with all the other functioning departments of the organization the next being improved tools to measure roi 
Well, marketing should continuously looking look at finding new tools and better tools to measure the return on investment and to able to measure the performance and the success of the marketing activities. The next we website. Well, today it's a complete website world. It's very popularly said if you have a website to your company, then you it's almost equivalent to having a shop in almost all places on the earth and on this globe. Well, one of the functions of marketing is to create a website with complete and comprehensive information and also to make it user friendly and accessible. The next being enhancing lead generation, nurturing, management and follow up. Well, it extends into the first point itself with regards to tapping the new and the potential and the untapped market. Marketing needs to continuously generate the new leads where we've not yet entered into the markets, constantly nurture them, make sure they are managed well and that they convert it at the end finally as our clients. And the last one is improve marketing communication. With regards to this, we mean that our advertising, our sales promotion, all kind of communication which goes out to our consumers should not only be authentic, but would also should make sense and should be understood and should be powerful. And we should adopt new and new techniques and methodologies of reaching out to the consumers. With that, we end our this topic.